PVC is one of the most common plastics in the world. And even though this material can be recycled over and over again, it often isn't. That's what inspired these two sisters to launch their own business. Their employees heat pipes over an open flame, cut them into strips, and then weave them into high-end home goods. It's like a gold mine for us when we get there and we see this heap of you know, broken pipes that we're actually able to use um, you know, and put it into good use. So if PVC is such a versatile plastic, why do we recycle so little of it? We went to South Africa to find out how this business makes modern housewares out of worldwide waste. Mo is the artist behind Mo's crib. They actually dye it. While her sister Michelle runs the business side of things. We are actually both Mo. My African name is Mushibudi, which is an M-O, and my sister's African name is Murungwe. And our surname also happens to be M-O, Mugoni. So it really made sense for us to call it Mo's crib. Mo and Michelle get most of their raw material from the wholesale company Sizabantu Piping. Mo sorts through piles of broken PVC pipes, sent to the scrap heap before they were even sold. Like this, that will definitely never be used for its sole purpose, for water or sewage, etc. So I can actually take this one. And even though these are junk for construction companies, they're the right amount of broken for Mo and Michelle. It's like this defect right here is exactly what we're looking for. We love this sort of pipe. So we're definitely taking this. These pipes travel over eight hours by truck to this wholesale lot in Pretoria. Now, during transit, uh, there is some pipes that get damaged while loading or offloading. So those pipes cannot be used again. Instead, they're set aside for Mo. But it's taken them time to build that trust. So when you're calling as a woman, wanting pipes, you're not taken seriously. That's what we've experienced, actually. The sisters took strength from their late mother's words. There's something that she always used to say, to say that we must stand up and say, here yeah, am I, and, um, and, that is, and that is truly who we are. You can just go around through to the guys. Okay. They will get your pipe. All right. You'll be helping me with uh, six pipes that I'm gonna choose today, so we can go. This one is really good. Hold on, let me see. These pipes are six meters oh, long, so workers cut them down to more manageable sizes. Pipes from PVC, short for polyvinyl chloride, are hard and durable. But they can be heated and reshaped without losing strength. And even a simple bonfire will be enough to do it. The pipe comes in contact with the fire. This is to make it so that it softens. Innocent Mango, nicknamed Franz, worked as a plumber before this, installing pipes similar to the ones he now makes into baskets. Uh, it's to me, not on my side. Uh, I guess that. I think it's dry. He spins the pipe over the flame until it weakens into a workable texture. This part of the process could expose workers to harmful fumes, but the company told us they plan on switching to an enclosed oven sometime in 2023. With the aid of a box cutter, he then ties one end of the now floppy pipe to an anchor. Then Franz walks backwards, all in one smooth, skillful motion, slicing it into thin strips, almost as long as the entire yard. The strips are now ready for weaving. But before we weave, we have to then create a frame for the basket. Franz has been weaving baskets for over a decade. He's one of the company's 11 full-time employees. I want a plant, Mrs. and our laundry basket. It's plus minus one and a half hours, full process. It takes one meter of pipe to finish a planter. The laundry basket requires two meters of pipe. That makes each basket a one-off creation. Right. No. You saw good TikTok, you know. Chemists discovered PVC in the 19th century after exposing vinyl chloride gas to sunlight. 
Within a century, production of all things PVC exploded. This is polyvinyl chloride, a synthetic resinous material converted from vinyl chloride gas. And it's the basis for thousands of plastic products. It's sturdy and waterproof, but has a low melting point. It's used in construction, vinyl records, clear IV bags, even clothing. At one point, PVC was hyped as a space-age material. Suitable for the best-dressed ladies in the year 2000. We make about 60 million metric tons of PVC every year, and about a third of that winds up in pipes. But some of the things that make them so functional also make them hard to recycle. PVC pipes used to contain harmful additives like lead and cadmium, which can contaminate other plastics headed for recycling. So they need to be separated. Many large producers voluntarily removed a number of these harmful elements before 2015, but most countries don't outright ban them. These pipes can be used for up to 100 years. Many of the ones ready for retirement still contain those dangerous chemicals. So a lot ends up in landfills. Mo and Michelle need pipes of a certain thickness for their weaving process. Too thin, and they're not strong enough to withstand weaving. Too thick, and they're too hard to cut properly. So for years, as they collected pipes, Mo and Michelle also stumbled upon hundreds they couldn't use. That made it harder for the sisters to expand. As the business continued growing and the demand was more, we needed to find alternative sources. So they partnered with the pipe manufacturer Kusasa Mining Pressure Systems in 2019. Here, discarded pipes of nearly any size can be recycled into exactly what the sisters need. You can bring any type of pipe, no matter the color, and it actually goes through a regranulation process. And Abafuna, make sure exactly what the pants, of which is two to three millimeters wall thickness. The granulator pulverizes the original pipes into a fine powder. Kusasa adds wax and lead-free stabilizers to the mix, just like it does when it's making new or virgin PVC pipes. Workers heat the mixture and then push it through an extruder. The PVC has to be the right temperature. Too cold, then it's too hard to mold, but not cold enough and... It's gonna be like banana, you know? of which is wrong, they're not supposed to be like that. The workers use water to regulate the temperature of the pipe. The pipe hardens as water cools it, and is then cut to the right size. And voila, the old PVC is now new PVC. Depending on what the product is going to be used for, Kusasa can include some recycled PVC when making pipes for other companies. PVC can be recycled up to 10 times this way before losing its strength. So this is our warehouse. This is where the Alice Group, also known as Moe's Crib, is headquartered. This is what we consider our distribution center. So this is where all the pro finished products come in and we basically do our quality check here and we do our cleaning as well as a dispatch. Moe's Crib sells the smaller planter style basket for $109 and the larger hamper for $120 on its website. Its products have also made it into Crate and Barrel and Target in the U.S. Most crib product is in all of those stores and walking into one of the stores in New York in Soho and walking right to a product and it's got our name on it. It's... Yeah. It cut, 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 cut. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you not cutting the cake? It was unbelievable, it was beautiful, it was, it was just crazy because of we're looking at this basket and you're thinking about, you know, a France that made it um, and, and, and thinking back at the journey and how difficult it was and, you know, seeing that two black girls from Mabobani, a township in Pretoria, actually were able to make this possible, you know? Thank you so much, They've expanded their offerings to include products made from natural plants from other African countries as well. 
The sisters contract independent artisans like Mike Sate to weave the grasses. We actually have up to 100 artisans that work for us part-time. The handmade approach using environmentally friendly materials defines Moe's crib. When investors approach the sisters, suggesting they use machines to scale up production, we always stop right there. It doesn't really matter about the money or the investment that's going to come in if we are not going to be able to offer those job opportunities, if we're not going to be able to uh, set ourselves aside from other companies and offering a handmade product. And it's not just about a transaction. PVC is just a small part of our global plastics problem, but the McConey sisters are happy to do their part. And this we have found is a solution to this global environmental challenge that we are facing. And we are doing that one basket, one grass tray, one chair at a time.